Welcome to this video lecture. This is Mark Scythian. The date today is May 9th, 2019. If you're struggling with writing ground state electron configuration sequences for elements and ions, then you've come to the right video because I'll show you a very easy method to gain proficiency in writing these sequences. There's a much easier way to write electron configuration ground state sequences and that begins by establishing these numeric codes 18, 27, 36, 45. This really designates 1 through 8 for S, uh, the S orbital, 2 through 7 for the P orbital, 3 through 6 for the D orbital, 4 through 5 for the F orbital. So going down on a column you just write 1 through 8 for the S, skip a row to the right write 2 through 7 for P, skip a, uh, a row, go down again, uh, 3D to 60, 36 is 3 to 6, and then 45 is just 4F, 5F. So then you just draw a southwest directional arrow, and then you start on the top, 1S, 2S, 2P, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, and so on and so forth. So there you go. You easily got the sequence for the orbitals without having to memorize that, unless you can do that, you know, unless it's really easy. You can just look at that and memorize it, but it's easier to just uh, set up this uh, orbital sequence uh, configuration chart. And then the next thing is uh, you repeat the orbital sequence SPF or SPDF. Uh, if you can memorize that, I like to use people's initials to remember that SPDF. So the number of suborbitals per uh, orbital classification is always starting from one and going up in odd number increments, so one, three, five, seven. And then all you do is just multiply the number of suborbitals by two to find out the maximum number of electrons per orbital. And then you write that down there, right? So now you might have a pro uh, set of problems like this. Uh, write the ground state electron configuration for the following elements and ions. So there we have chlor uh, chloride ion, and that's uh, Cl minus 1. So that's actually going to gain one electron. So if we go to the periodic table of elements, we see that chlorine has 17, but chloride would have 18 electrons. So we have to write a sequence to equal 18 electrons. So, of course, we got the orders up there right and the maximum number of electrons. So 2, 4, 10, 12, 18. But however, a lot of times you have to abbreviate it using the stable inert gases, which are not caught up in the electronegativity differentials of the rest of the periodic table. So you can go ahead and uh, use helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon on the electron count number. So since we're dealing with uh, actually 18 electrons, the abbreviated electron configuration for chloride would be argon. And that would be the correct answer to put down. Because many times they will ask you to abbreviate it. They will not even have the long hand sequence. Many tests and exams will also. So the electron ground configuration state for chloride is actually argon in brackets. So moving on here, we have the uh, aluminum ion. It's got oxidation number uh, three plus. So it is going to uh, lose three electrons. So if we go back to the periodic table of elements, we got 13 electrons for aluminum, atomic number 13. It's actually, we have to sequence it to 10 electrons because three plus means it loses three electrons. It's an ion, right? So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, so 2, 4, uh, 2, 4, and 10. So what would 10 electrons equal? Again, it goes, uh, we can go back minus three. It actually goes back to 10, so it is neon. So the electron ground configuration sequence for the aluminum ion with uh, three plus oxidation number is actually neon is the correct answer. 
again, it, you may be asked to write it in um, abbreviated uh, format with uh, inert gas as the uh, notation. Uh, moving on here, we have SN for tin. Now, this is going to have, uh, let's see, 50 electrons, and it is not an ion, it is an element. So we have to write the sequence as uh, 50 electrons. So, of course, we're going by, you'd have to put a little time in and just write in the sequences. And uh, you can put less than the max on each orbital, but you cannot exceed the maximum number of electrons. So you can get away with that, right? So here we just uh, put in maybe about five or six sequences, like one, uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 22, 23, 24, 36, 38, 48, and then 5p2 for 50. And a lot of times that answer won't even be there. They'll want it in notated form. So we're dealing with 50 electrons. So we just go, we back up here and we can abbreviate it with Krypton at 36 electrons. So uh, writing it out longhand allows you to figure out where you would truncate it to do the abbreviation. So really, if you look here, we got 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36. So I put a little bracket there. So Krypton will take the place of this electron sequence. And then all we have to do is add the 5s2, 4d10, 5p2. And there you go. That's the correct answer right there. So this becomes really easy when you create the chart here. And then lastly, we have tungsten W. And I rewrote the orbital sequences up here and the electron max for reference. And again, let's go back to the number of electrons for tungsten, it's got 74, we're not dealing with an ion. So again, just keep the uh, same old routine, just put in as many uh, sequences till you get close to, uh, what do we say, 74 electrons. So we got 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, 38, 48, 48 plus 6 is 54, 56 plus 14, 74. And again, you might not even see this answer here. You're going to see some uh, notation, but you're going to have to write it out in longhand form so you know exactly where to truncate. So remember 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, 38, 48, 54, 56, 74. So what we have to do is go just go back to the periodic table elements, move back one to the previous inner abbreviator. So 54 xenon, right? Right. So we have to actually extract 54 out of here and abbreviate it. So 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, 38, 48. 54, right? 54 right there. So I put a truncation line there. What is 54? What did we say that was? Xenon, right? Just to make sure. Uh, so you can replace this entire electron configuration sequence with xenon. And then you add the 6s2, 4f14. And there's your correct answer. And that's probably what's going to be on the multiple choice. Uh, a lot of times you have to do this manually on a chem exam then. You're still going to have to write this out so you know exactly where to add to the abbreviator, inert gas, and then you get the right answer. Unless you're really good at just like memorizing these, but then you probably won't need this video, right, if you can do that. But a lot of people do struggle on writing these electron configuration ground states. So all you have to do is what I do is I just uh, assign 18, 27, 36, 45. That 18 is 1 to 8 for S. 2 to 7 for P, 3 to 6 for D, 4 to 5 for F, and then write down each limit going down like this. Skip a row, go to the right, do, re, uh, redo that, and then just like here, and draw the southwest direction, and that director becomes your sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you have it right there. And once you get this, it's really easy. 
I was just giving some examples on uh, solve problems. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.